Today, I'm going to talk about the African American experience studying abroad. What is study abroad? If you ask many students today what study abroad is, they would say it's an opportunity to learn, explore, and exchange cultures. Throughout my four years in college, I was given the opportunity to go on three different study abroad opportunities, long and short. When most people think about studying abroad, they think about going to Italy, France, Jamaica. That was me. I thought about that. But I realized I wanted to go to a place where most people that look like me don't go. So I decided to go to China. This black girl decided to go to China. I was scared. I was nervous. I didn't know how to feel. But I got to China and I realized I wanted to learn. I wanted to explore. So I got to do some really cool things, such as walk the Great Wall of China. I had a great time. How many people of color can say they got to do something like this? But while in China, I had some difficulties. People didn't understand me. They were curious about my hair. I would get pulled. There was often times that people would take photos of me while I'm walking. There was this one incident where this man asked to take a photo, and I said no. Instead of taking no as an answer, he followed me. It wasn't until the chaperone told him in Chinese that I did not want to take a photo, he stopped. That moment, I felt frustrated, out of control. Felt like my voice disappeared. Now, this photo behind me, these photos behind me, shows some of those moments of people asking to take photos of me. Instead of getting upset at each situation, I decided to take control of the situation. Now, I came back home and I reflect on my China trip, and I realized people acted that way because they were curious. They weren't used to seeing someone like me in their country. So I decided that I was going to make it my duty and job to continue studying abroad. So then this other opportunity came about, and I went to Germany. While in Germany, I had the best experience ever. I got to live with a host family who loved me, who wanted to learn about me. They were curious about being from Brooklyn. They were curious about me being from Trinidad, and they wanted to learn about that. My host family actually asked me to create a meal for my country, so I made curry chicken. While at the table, we shared this meal and the whole family was there. And we exchanged culture. We talked about the different spices and we saw that we were more alike than different. But though I had such amazing experience like that, I still felt like I did not belong. I still felt like I did not have the right to be there. So I came back home after that trip, and I said, I'm not going to let these experiences, bad experiences, stop me from going and traveling. So this last opportunity came about, and I went to South Korea. And I remember calling my mom, and I told her, I'm going to South Korea. And she was like, we don't belong there. Hearing those words from my mom made me realize I had to go there. So I went to South Korea and I was able to explore the South Korean culture. I was able to be a part of it and embrace it. I had meals, I had kimchi, tteokbokki, jajangmyeon, and I was able to embrace their culture and love it. But I still had some difficulties there as well. There was times where little kids would run up to me and ask me about my skin, ask me how I got this black. They did not understand that I was born this way. But throughout those experiences, I realized I'm not going to let these bad experiences stop me from exploring and learning. These are the reasons why students of color need to study abroad. They need to go out there and let, educate others and show them that we exist. So if I can give any advice to students of color that's thinking about studying abroad, I have one advice. Be yourself. Keep going. Don't lose yourself in the sauce. Now, while you're studying abroad and you're thinking about doing these things, I want students of color to think about some of these things. 
You're not alone in this process. There's others that feel like you. Go there with an open heart. Be ready to learn. Embrace new things. You're going to stumble a little, but keep going. And to institutions, I just want to say, educate students of colors on some of the difficulties that they're going to have. Prepare them for these difficulties. There were simple things that I couldn't do because of the color of my skin. For example, I couldn't wash my hair for a good month because there was a lack of ethnic products in some of the countries I visited. Educating students on some of the challenges that they're going to face is going to make their experience better. Now, these three countries taught me different things. China taught me to be patient, understanding. South Korea taught me to be aware, aware of myself, aware of the opportunities that I've been given. And South Korea, I, was, I learned to be confident, confident within myself, within my blackness, and realizing that I shouldn't change for anyone. So my final thing that I would tell students is, your presence speaks volume. And I'm going to repeat that again. Your presence speaks volume. Thank you.